This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. It's Saturday morning, the 24th. I uh, have no idea what's going on at the church, but looks like there's people there and some hayfully employee there. I don't know what he's doing there either. You would think on Saturday we would have a day of rest from all these bird haters, but ooh, we're not going to. So, anyway, it's a very cool, I'd say, damp, rainy day. Um, yeah, I do believe is there someone there waiting by the church? Maybe. But we're not going to let that get in our way. There's some crows on the field. Don't know why the, uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, why there are people here on Saturday. But there may be, it could be a type of baptism. Could be, could be any, anything. So there, there are Saturdays where they do hold events. So it's not, it's not unknown. Um, or it has some religious significance, uh, something that I'm not familiar with. But at the end of the day, I'm not a Latter-day Saint, so I'm not familiar with that Book of, of Mormon. So, well, only on a very superficial basis. Since I do have a nephew and niece who are Latter-day Saints, so only through them. Looks like, uh, wow, looks like they were working on this little bit of grain that's left. Looks like we got somebody here staring at us. Of course, I don't know who that is, but I got him on video if he wants to look. Uh, that looks somewhat a Hayfeely employee or someone who works for Hayfeely. Obviously doesn't like birds. Wants to see what we're doing. Anyway, um, yeah. Well, the next few days we're supposed to have, we're supposed to have this weather. So, um, and this is typical fall weather. So, we got, uh, we got some crows over there. We got some crows on the Hayfully building. People here do like to stare. In America, if you, if you continue to stare at someone, um, all the time, it's like a form of stalking. It's impolite. We don't, we don't do that. Um, but here they do. And they think, they think nothing of it. I don't see my little Charlie coming down. Like I say, there's a lot of, not so many good things. We had a late start today. And uh, Bryant was talking with his son and daughter-in-law and uh, now we got someone else who pulled in here. We'll keep this for Charlie if he shows up. Okay, no birds, no birds coming down. Of course, could be they don't like this person. Oh, now we have uh, Fatser, the gardener, showing up. I don't know what he's doing there. On a Saturday in his little car. That's very, very strange. Now we have him on video. Um, that could be someone, that guy's up to something no good. Okay. We don't know. To me, I don't trust them. I think I've seen that guy before.
hanging around at the Hayfley building. We have to understand they, uh, they do their dirty business here on the, uh, on the weekends. See, look. Yeah, I got it on video. He picked something up for him. I think he's the man that delivered the chemicals or poison for the birds. I believe he's the one. He just, that guy just gave him something. Gave him something that isn't good. Some sort of poison or pesticide. So that's what I think. They do have over here, they got hazelnut trees over there. And uh, you don't know what they're putting down on the ground against them. Evidently, Fatser can't get a hold of this, whatever it is. But he has been showing up on Saturdays, and we don't know, we don't know what he's up to. So, but he definitely has something there that's very, very bad. Could be a type of poison to put on the food. We don't, we don't know. So, I think I'm going to just uh, pop. I need you to get out of the car. Get out of the car. Yeah, I need you to get out of the car and, and have your phone. I'm going to take a walk down here. This guy here is the guy who always drops the poison off, and he just gave fats or something in a bottle. Uh -huh. it, well, puts it on some kind of food, right? And then throws it down for the birds. Uh -huh. I'm going to go down there and confront him. Well, I'm going to get as close as I need to. And I need you to be there with your video to take picture okay, of him. And I need you to have your billy club with you. I need you to have this. Wait, I'm put not that ready. in your I'm pocket. Not ready. Give me a chance. Well, put it in I your pocket. Pants pocket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't confront them. I'll give me a I'm not. But I, but I am wanting to get the, uh, the culprits here in, uh, in the thing. So, what kind of poison do they have here? That's what I'd like to know. Maybe I might have to give this to the police. We don't know. But it's definitely some kind of pesticide or poison that's not supposed to be used. And, uh, and maybe we have to check. But at least I have them. I have them on my video, so we can uh, so we can look at them. See, they're looking at some kind of weed that's coming through there, and uh, those kind of pesticides are not supposed to use. Yeah, it's not good. Illegal pesticides in verboten. 
Hello. Ich schick my video zum der Umwelt und Polizei. the hell is he doing with this? Look at that, YouTubers. He's putting uh, the uh, hazelnut things in a clump there. I mean, he's gathering them up. Why have the hazelnut trees here? Why, why have them? If you're so anti-bird, then chop it down. Now, why would you look to put something there in those bushes? Why would you do that? Well, now I know what, what they're planning to do. I will be over here on Sunday. So, well, we're going to just have to leave him go. But I saw him. this guy does drop off the pesticides. And, I, and, and I'm gathering they're probably illegal. The same ones that he sprayed here that the police locked him down with. So, um, anyway. Oh, now we have a, another bird hater. Wow, it just, it's not starting out to be a good weekend. Let's try and not get her in our video. <laughs> 